Hey everybody, it's David from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video I want to show you guys how to use the effects engine in the Martin M-Series console software and MPC PC software. So continuing our video series here on the basics of MPC and the M-Series software, I want to show you guys the effects engine. Now, the effects engine in MPC is a little different from some other consoles, but in other ways very similar. And once you get the hang of it, it's really easy to quickly create some cool effects. Let me show you how it works. First thing you're going to do is select some fixtures. I'm going to select these 12 Mac Vipers to start out. Going to pop open our parameters here. To start, oh, let's create an effect with intensity. I'm going to put my intensity at the center, and then click over to Effects. The console is now telling me that I'm doing an effect on intensity. You see that right there? It says on intensity. Perfect. Swing is the first parameter, effects parameter we'll see here. As you bring that up, you can see nothing happens because we haven't yet set a speed, but the swing is how far off of the base point the effect is going to travel. So our intensity right now is at 50%, our swing is at 100%, and so our effect will move 100% off of the base point when we add some speed. So let's do that. We're going to dial in our speed here on this encoder, and we can see our lights are now fading on and off very nicely. Our next dial here is mode. If we scroll through here we can see there's, there's a variety of modes. I'm noting that the black line is the baseline reference. So some of the modes only are additive to the baseline. Some are only subtractive. And we have a good variety of both curves and hard uh, different forms that we're able to use in our effect. I'm going to use this form here so that it's easy to see what we're doing with the effect. I'm actually now I'll go over to sign because I like sign a lot. Our last wheel right here we have is multiplier. And this is just for if you need to create some really fast effects, particularly on LEDs. You can multiply and that'll multiply your speed um, at the multiplier. The next thing we need to do is go to our effects timing tab. Wave and step per X are presented to us. Now what do these do? Well, these are the way so that the console modifies the offset to the fixtures, which are expressed as delay, shift, and weight individually for each fixture. Let me show you wave. Let's set a wave of 4 here, and we can see we've got a cool offset across all of our vipers. You can also see that the sine wave has been distributed so that it takes four fixtures to completely do the wave, okay? So we've set this sine wave over here as the mode, and then in the timing we've hit our wave to four, and it takes four fixtures length to complete that wave, to complete that effects curve. Similarly, let me turn it off and show you step. We'll set step to four, and we're gonna see here, now each fixture is doing the wave on its own and then returning to the base point before it goes to the next one and the effect itself restarts after every group of four fixtures that's the four that we have set here and so if you're like me and you've come from other consoles other than M series you probably are more used to using an offset control that works a lot like wave however step can have its advantages too and I think you'll find as you play around with it and begin to work with the effects engine inside of M-Series that you'll begin using the step as well too when you want to create some cool chases. So I'm going to turn that off guys and in the next video I'm going to come back and show you guys some more things we can do with effects and the grouping tools. I'll see you guys there. Thanks.